sorry. I found the box that I was talking about that went missing. So this is from Mothy and the Squid. This is one of my month's um, Patreon supporter thing, gift. Um, so this is how it's come for me. I think I did an unboxing properly on the last one, but this one's gonna have to just join in in the floss tube. So, what have, what have we? Holy cow. Oh, it's orange for an orangutan. Oh, but, but, what the? She gives these gifts to, and she did actually say that she was going all out this year for her Patreon things. Um, I don't know that she's necessarily only doing endangered animals or anything like that. Oh my goodness. Look at this stitch minder. It's a little orangutan. That's so cool. And she's put it on her card, which is cool. Um, but it's heavy, it's metal, and look, it's even got the other side. That's some lovely bit of detail. Um, there is a picture of a baby. Um, so again, it's photographic paper, and then she's got the blurb on the back. Orangutans are um, native to the forests of Borneo and Sumatra. Um, oh, he's so soft. They spend a large time, part of their lives, in trees, and they are well adapted for climbing and suspension. All species are critically endangered. Their diet is primarily fruit. They also consume leaves, bark, honey, eggs, and insects. Oh my God, it's so soft. Um, most of the day is spent feeding, resting, and traveling. While ev When evening arrives, they build nests to sleep in overnight. Orangutans are among the most intelligent primates. They can cooperate, plan ahead in coordination with one another, communicate about things which are not present, and keep track of reciprocity reciprocity in their relationships. They use tools to communicate, leaves to amplify their vocalizations, and in acquiring food, for example, seed extraction or fishing. Separate groups are, have different cultural use of tools, which they pass on, and individuals will retain useful tools for future use. Um, if you want to see orangutans in action, well, the Jane Goodall did a lot of the gorilla work, but um, you've got the Cl Clint Eastwood movies where you've got the orangutan. Um, it has a height of up to 1.4 meters. It's got weight up to 100 kilos. Okay. Uh, top speed, <laughs> top speed, 2.7 mile an hour. That ain't fast. Uh, lifespan in the wild, up to 60 years. They're critically endangered. Oh, that is so cute. And that is a Zappy toy, Zappy plush. It's so soft. The jowls are movable. Oh my God, that's, I'm just gonna keep petting it. It's really, really soft. Um, it doesn't seem to want to sit terribly well, but they, they have got the jowls. They've got the nose even. That, it's really cool. But even the face is really soft. It's. My kids have had their heads shaved, um, AJ in particular. He had his head shaved at one point to, I don't know, a three or something, and his head fell like this. I kept on stroking his head. It was so soft and fluffy. That's what that feels like. It's, it's so soft and fluffy. It's like stroking a hamster. These are gorgeous. These are really, really cute. So this is the kind of thing that you would just, I haven't even looked at the yarn yet. Oh my God. These are the kind of things that you get from Mothy and the Squid if you want to join her Patreon. It is expensive. I don't, I'm not going to be doing it for um, much longer. But how cool is that? So this one is Orangutan. Um, it doesn't say which month. No, it doesn't say which month this one is. I think this is March though. Um, so she's shipped this out super, super fast. Um, February took forever to get to me, which was the poison frog, and this one's got here, like, literally on the back of February. Um, you stupid mail system. Um, so I think I'm gonna, well, I've or paid for April because it goes out in the beginning of the month. So I think I will give it a wrap at April, although I had paid in January. Um, I missed out on the January shipment. Um, it's orange. I have no idea what I would do with that. But look at the speckle. 
She's done some pretty good work. Now, apparently it takes 16 twists to get it into the hank. She's got a video, I can't think of her name. I feel very rude. Um, she does 16 twirls. She's got these videos on Instagram. It's funny as all hell. She is really hilarious. Um, and she has the most idyllic spot in the world in the UK, Scotland. Um, that she takes pictures of as well. So you get to see a bit of her world and, um, you know, her craziness. But yeah, she um, she's twisting the hanks or she's doing weights with the yarn and it's just, she's just crazy. It's a 75% um, merino, 25 nylon, superwash treated, 100 gram skein and it's a 4 to 5 um, needle. You only do get the one hank, so it is for fairly small projects if you were to do that. So that's kind of why I'm not liking i love her work but the conversion to australian and it's only one hank it's like yeah no i'm not going to keep it up but yeah um it was great doing it for a couple of months um and look she really does throw in these extras i mean they are really nice yeah for me being international yeah while it's nice i think i almost want the second hank um it's just so i can make a bigger project but orange yeah it's not my color so i don't know what i'm gonna do with that seriously and the orange is coming up more yellow on the camera. That's way more orange, orange. Let me try it there. Um, it's much more navel orange, orange than the yellow that it's showing. But you know, how cute is the orangutan? And you get a bit of the story of the animals behind the inspiration. And she very much gets her inspiration from nature. Um, you can see on her Instagram, she's posting a pic of the flowers and then the hank of the wool that's echoing in the flowers and all that kind of thing. So it's, it's really, really good. Um, I really like her philosophy. I really like um, how um, approachable she has been when I messaged her. Um, I love her Instagram presence and stuff and her yarn colors are just amazing. So yeah, D definitely different, bright, different, vibrant. Um, yeah, I mean, look at this. This Look, she's got the, the rainbow hanks. You're not gonna get the neutral, boring kind of, you know, hide in the grass kind of colors. You're gonna get the bang pow, you know, um, poison arrow frog and orangutan orange and things. I don't know what's next. <laughs> it's really cool. So yeah. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. <laughs>